In Western music, we divide the octave into 12 half steps. And those 12 half steps can easily be seen on the keyboard, where we literally have each half step differentiated in black and white. However, when we look at the cello fingerboard, we are instead presented with somewhat of a black abyss. We don't have any frets, we certainly don't have any keys to play, we just have this black expanse. So that's where I suggest it's very useful to start with some tapes. Now, of course, ultimately we want to get rid of the tapes, ideally as soon as possible, and to rely on our ears, but in the early stages it can be helpful to use these. So here's what I would suggest and how I typically introduce my students to the cello fingerboard. I do suggest that you would use a tuner to do so. It's very important that they're really accurately in, in exactly the right spot. So for that, again, use a tuner and do make sure that they go straight across but, and not at an angle. If we were to put tapes on every single half step between half position to fourth position on the cello, it would look something like this. Well, that's a lot of information. That's too much information, I would say. So rather than having all that visual clutter, I suggest reducing to just three tapes. And here's where I put them and why. Today, you can see that these three tapes are in different colors. We've got the first in red, the second in green, and the third in blue. I think of this first tape as being my first position tape because when I put my first finger on it, I'm in first position. The second tape in green, I think of my lower third position. That's because when I put my first finger on it, I'm in lower third position. And then last but not least, the third sticker in blue, I think of as my fourth position sticker because when I put my first finger on it, I'm in fourth position. The reason that I put these tapes in these three particular spots is primarily because they give the most options of ringing tones. With these three stickers, we also still have a fairly good idea of where the half steps lie because they're not too far apart. So for example, we only have one half step between the nut and the red sticker. We only have two half steps between the red and the green sticker. And we only have one half step between the green and the blue sticker. And then of course, we would just in closed position play two, three and four for our fourth position.